with over 100 plus heroes in MLBB the different types while there are some heroes that you will feel like deleting ml directly or they will give you the worst nightmare or picking some heroes can even make you feel like they are trolling Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we will talk about some of the heroes in MLBB that are annoying and make you feel like they are trolling. Note, do remember that I have no offense to the user. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. On the first, we have Layla. The first hero everyone used when we first start playing ML. But she is very weak when compared to all the other MM. So when someone picks Layla, the first thing that comes to our mind is that the player is either new or is trying to troll. This hero is always used by newbie players, so it feels like she is the signature hero of every new player. And about trolling, she is considered a troll pick because she has no mobility and some silly mistakes can lead you to a non-stop fate to the enemy team. Many players don't want to lose their main hero win rate while they use Layla to troll. I hope Moontoon sees this and do something with Layla. The next hero will be the revamped Hanabi. And speaking about trolling, we also have her. She also has very low mobility, but when compared to Layla, she has more. As any shield she gains can give her CC immunity. Everyone thought she was gonna be picked more often after the revamp but it did not make her any better. She's not a very bad hero but her weaknesses and high skill cap can make her a very risky pick in certain situations, leading some players to view her as a troll pick. She's often viewed as a weak hero compared to other heroes in the game. Moving on to the next, we have Nana. Her skills are so annoying that it makes some of the players hate her. She is considered as an annoying hero by some players because of her ability to slow enemy movements and control the battlefield with her crowd control ability. Her skill 2 Molina Smooch will transform you into a helpless kitten for several seconds, leaving you helpless to attacks from Nana and her teammates. To be honest, this skill is the most annoying thing that exists in the game and including her passive. The passive always gives her a second chance. When facing Nana, always get Athena's or she will melt you like butter. If you are looking for a 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki Official Store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100k MLBB players from India, Philippines and Europe. Do visit our website and browse between various packs. On to the next, we have Glue and his ghouls. Glue has the ability to split into multiple ghouls. During this duration, he is hard to target and hard to stun or use any CC effect on him since there are multiple targets. He can also regen HP himself. Not only that, but he can also attach to his enemies and then deal continuous damage to them. When he is attached to one of your teammates, he is helpless since if you attack Glue, he will get damage too. Glue can be so annoying especially if the opposing team lacks heroes with the strong area of effect abilities. Make sure to get anti life steal and magic defense when facing glue to reduce his heal and ultimate damage. Next we have Hilda. Many players don't like her, even myself, because of her annoying skills and also many players considered Hilda to be an annoying hero because of her ability to move quickly around the battlefield, initiate fights and deal significant damage to enemies. She can give you a hard time if you are using a squishy jungler 
especially in the early game because of her skill 2 and also her passive. Whether Hilda builds tank damage items or defense items, she will still manage to kill you. And one of the annoying things about her is the shield and HP regen when she is inside the bush. Use heroes that have dash skills to escape from her annoying skills. On to the next we have Badang. Can you remember how many times have you got stuck in his wall and died? Blocking another side of the map with the wall while he throws multiple punches into the wall. Badang gives a hard time to almost every hero in MLB. Not only to squishy heroes but even to melee heroes. All of his skill has a knockback effect and now knockback skills are also counted as stun. Dominance is a good choice when facing him since his skills depends on attack speed. Let's now talk about Hanzo. He is weak without skills and very squishy. But the annoying thing about him is his skills. Especially his ultimate, his unique ability to detach his souls from his body and move around the battlefield as a spirit, making him difficult to target and kill. He will never fight you without his ultimate and it also has a short cooldown that makes it more annoying. His ultimate can pass through walls making him easy to gank enemies from different angles. Wind of Nature and Antiquities will be the items to counter him. Popol and Koopa Popol is weak but Koopa is the one fighting for him. But what annoys players is because of Koopa. Especially when he uses ultimate, Koopa will become big and can stun you. Not only that, he will also set a trap and if you touch it, you will be immobilized and revealed on the map. Which will give Popol time to reposition giving him the upper hand. Make sure to get Wind of Nature to get immune to all of its damage. On to the next we have Natalia. She is hated by many players because of her ability to remain invisible and quickly move around the battlefield making her difficult to target and kill. She will sneak up with her passive when you lower your guard and deal a load of damage before you even realize she is there. This can be frustrating especially when you play squishy hero if you aren't prepared. She will silence you so even after you know that she is there you won't be able to fight back. Take at least one defense item when facing her if you don't want to increase your head for her. The last hero on our list, we have Valir. The annoying thing about him is having a high crowd control effect and a non-stop burn effect. He can make you feel like removing Valir from ML especially when you are using melee heroes. Try to get radiant armor as soon as possible and with this item his damage will be highly reduced. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.